You've been in the trenches of our politics. You've been a minister. You've been a member of parliament. You are a senior citizen who has been closely observing the political changes in this country. Where are we at in terms of our democracy through your lens? We are having two Museveni's leadership and therefore two different Museveni's. We are in Museveni too. There is no institution which is independent in this country. This country belongs to one person called President Museveni. All these iron sheets and he said the, the chapter is closed over iron sheets. Just don't tell me of Museveni's government. Two, number two. You sound like you're so broken and devastated about this government. Because the, the environment is practically dictatorial and militarized and uh, pretending. Yeah, let's, be pick, let's pick up from that because human rights violations have been committed, especially as we get to the elections in the NRA, uh, the NRA that uh, is it. enforced disappearances, the, 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 the killings of people. But we see those coming up very many times. In fact, the other day, the president was telling the security forces to present these people and leave, stop these disappearances and torture Do of, what? of political activists. He was doing what? He has mentioned that, that torture is not part of it. Yes. But they are doing it under his eye. I have no grudge, personal grudge against this man. No. But what hurt me is that he came saying what Uganda would be. And down the road, he turned around. I tell you, I thank President Museven and I love him. Because if he did not come with an Aram government, I would never have realized my childhood dream. Do you have hope? That Which hope? I have already said my hope is in my God. Dr. Matembe, Dr. Matembe, if you were to meet President Museveni today, what would you tell him? To graciously and kindly get off power.